Hi everyone, welcome back. This is the 48th video in our series on building a chess engine from scratch in the Java programming language. Our focus right now is on artificial intelligence and in particular we are looking at implementing the Minimax algorithm. Well, in the last several videos what I've done is I've shown you uh, you know how the Minimax algorithm works, how the min and the max methods, these co-recursive routines tie into one another and how we uh, start the whole process off in our execute method here. Um, what I want to focus on in this video is the board evaluation um, class, right? So we have an interface. I introduced an interface called board evaluator. Uh, and right now, uh, the board evaluator in our minimax evaluation is just null. So we have to uh, create a new board evaluator. So why don't we go ahead and do that? Well, what we'll do is we will call our board evaluator standard board evaluator. Okay, and obviously this is going to complain because this class doesn't exist. So we're going to create, uh, oh, we're going to say new. And this class doesn't exist. So we're going to create a class called that in the des same destination package. And uh, notice that it implements board evaluator already. So we just want to say, implement the method. And one thing that you could do here is you could actually declare this class as final, which means uh, that nobody should uh, extend this class, right? So we expect this to be not and a class that's not extensible by anyone and uh, sometimes I'll do that just to it's like for documentation purposes really uh, to demonstrate the intent of the class and uh, okay so <clears throat> given them excuse me <clears throat> given a board and a depth we are going to calculate uh, the score for that board so I'm going to introduce a new method here called score player and Hopefully the way I invoke score player is going to make it really obvious how this is going to work. So we're going to say call score player and we're going to give it the board and board.white player and depth. And we're going to subtract that from score player board board dot black player and depth. Okay, so really what we're trying to do here is we're trying to get the score for white and subtract it from the score from black, right? Okay, and what will happen is that if white has an advantage, the score that you get back will be a positive number. If black has an advantage, the score that you get back will be a negative number, okay? So we're going to call, we're going to create this method called score player. Score player is going to return an int. And, okay, so let's go ahead and declare these final as usual. And at first, I'm just going to return, try to make this as readable as possible. Let's call a method called return piece value for the player, okay? That's what we're going to start with. That's our whole evaluation is going to be just based on the value that we ascribe, that we, excuse me, the, the value that we assign to um, each of the pieces the player has, and we're just going to add up all those values, right? So, and you're, you'll see what we assign the value to each piece as. Um, so let's create this method called private static and piece value final player player and we'll say in piece value score is equal to zero and we'll just say for final piece piece in player dot get active pieces piece valuation score plus equals piece 
dot get piece value. And notice that, uh, oops, there we go. And uh, so return piece value score. And we can go and see how we implemented this from before. <clears throat> Basically, it was just a wrapper on this enumeration. And when we passed in these numbers, 100, 300, uh, 500, 900, this was me assigning a score. Uh, and this is like a heuristic value that you can find on the internet for uh, you know, board evaluators. These are numbers that people have found out work well over time, right? So we, you can think of it like we give a pawn 100 points, a knight 300 points, a bishop 300 points, so they're roughly equivalent. Sometimes these numbers are slightly different uh, depending on the evaluator that you use. A rook, we give it 500 points, and a queen, 900 points, and the king, we give it a value that is much higher than any other piece, right? So in this case, 10,000 might as well be infinity, right? Um, so that's basically how we assign those scores. And, um, right. So the other thing I want to call your attention to is I'm not really using any, like, Java 8 syntax in my code. And some of you might think that that's like, well, why aren't you just using the most, uh, you know, up-to-date programming idioms. And um, I would argue that this code base is very, it would be very easy for us to transform this into uh, Java 8 style code. Um, but I didn't want that to be the focus. I, I wanted it to be just sort of, you know, standard uh, Java that people are used to writing, uh, you know, circa 2000. 14, 15, 16, whatever, and a lot of you might say, well, I'm used to already using Java 8, um, but, uh, you know, it, it, it's, it, you can, I leave it as an exercise for you guys to go ahead and update the source base if you think that that will, um, if that, if that's suitable for you. Okay, so now notice here what we're saying is that um, we're just going to add up all the pieces for white in terms of their piece value, and we're going to subtract that number with, against all the piece values for black and we're just going to return a score. Okay, that's going to be our standard board evaluation. We're going to come back to this later and we're going to add other qualities too. Um, right, so like maybe maybe just to make that clear I can show you what that would look like. It would be something like plus, it'll look like this, it'll look like plus, you know, checkmate, check, castled, uh, mobility, etc., whatever. Um, but for now, just to give you the idea of what's happening, I wanted to implement this score player method and evaluate method. Right. So right now we have this. Okay. And so this is using. This class is now using, the Minimax algorithm is now using the board evaluator. And again, just uh, to recap what happens when you come in here, depending on whether you're white or black, you're going to in initially call min or max, right? And um, after you do that, min is going to go through all the minimizing player's moves. And for each move, it's going to execute, it's going to execute its move in, uh, available to it and it's going to then call max which is going to go into the enemy the maximizing players moves and do the same thing over and over again and it will then at the propagate back up either the minimum uh, value at that level or the maximum value at that level and we'll see that this algorithm works um, it's going to be slow um, but uh, that we will see that it's definitely going to uh, you know it's going to play better than uh, random player. Okay, so we'll stop the video here and in the next video I'm going to put all the pieces together in a, in a test case uh, that we'll see working and maybe even uh, put it in the GUI and also we will uh, pick up where we left off and start implementing checkmate, check, castle, castle capable and piece value and location bias. Don't forget guys to look at the GitHub repository if you have any questions and please do like and subscribe. Uh, we will uh, see you next time.